But hey, uh, it's uh, Glenn C., the Garage Mahal, uh, and we're, uh, we're just admiring that beautiful Turbo LS under the hood of uh, Prohibition, the uh, 1936 Pontiac that uh, Glenn put together and became a grade eight winner. Uh, and we had uh, cooked this up a while back. Uh, you know, we had... Uh, uh, phone call and I said hey Glenn you know let's what do we do a car together hey let's do something with big power and big fat fenders he says I got I got just the car <laughs> I have it, it just so happens I happen to have the car yeah <laughs> tell, tell about the car We'd, uh... well 36 Pontiac I found it in a friend's uh, garage downstairs of his of his shop and it was sitting there and it was just calling my name so we worked a deal uh, I brought it to the shop at our old shop at the Garage Mahal in Greenback, and, and there it sat for a couple, three years because I couldn't figure out what to do with it until that fateful call when you said, let's do this. And I said, I've got it. And then the creative juices just started flowing, and this is what we ended up with. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, was to win a Riddler, uh, there's a lot behind that, behind uh, – it has to be mechanical perfection, and it has to have a creative concept that the judges can understand, get their hand around, and the public can look at and say, wow, that's gorgeous. So it has to check a lot of boxes in order to end up where this uh, vehicle did, thanks to all the work that Glenn and his crew did. But uh, you know, what is the story on this? This is a modern day rendition of a prohibition car. And we're here in East Tennessee and there's a bit of history of <laughs> run and shine. And uh, so uh, uh, what you have is uh, essentially a, a modern day version of the cars that they would use, which were black, fast, loud, Lots of power and uh, no chrome. <laughs> no bling. No bling. No, uh, no so, bling. Yeah. So uh, anyway, with this one, you say, well, well, first off, the problem here is it's green. Well, it actually turns black under dim lighting. Uh, how'd you do that, Glenn? Well, I went to the Exalta uh, school over here in, in, uh, in Alcoa, and my friend Jason and I, we just started spraying out paint i didn't want it black everybody has a black hot rod i wanted something different green was kind of in my mind because it was a green car from the factory so we took that factory green paint which was way too green and we just started toning it and tinting it and spraying it out and saying okay no and after a couple of days of testing and and trying we came up with uh what we're calling prohibition green it's actually in the exalta custom colors book now so many people would ask what color is that uh, i don't know just something we made up we gave the formulas to exalta they put it online so if you ever wanted to paint your car that color you could do it but again like you had mentioned we wanted something that would hmm is that green or is it black uh if you were at Chicago, where we were in a little bit uh, dimmer light at the Auto uh, World of Wheels there, and when you first walked into the building, it looked black. But as you got closer to the car, you know, I would hear people talking, saying, oh, it's not black, it's green. Right, yeah. And uh, so the thing is, of course, the moonshine cars, they ran at night. So yeah. <laughs> it's black at night. Uh, big power. Oh, yeah, we got the uh, uh, Borowski uh, single turbocharged LS with a beautiful uh, bullseye NLX turbo peeking out behind the, the grill there. Uh, the loud, well, here's the cutouts, uh, so we can just flip a switch and either nice and quiet or loud. Uh, so, uh, uh, and then you look, mm, no chrome. Uh, so the one thing that we uh you know are are noted for here in tennessee is that uh, if you are wearing camo it's kind of like formal wear uh we love our camo in tennessee so this is a camo car this is a camo moonshine car it can be loud it can be green it can be black it can be quiet so uh yeah so basically that was a story that resonated with the judges i think the vehicle speaks for itself you know we could I'm sure Glenn could go on forever, but uh, about everything that went into this. But uh, let's talk about what's next. Absolutely. As any artist, car builder, Joe, uh, I'm done, right? This is over. My 
fun with this car is done. It's time to pass the baton to a car owner who's going to cherish this car and it'll be part of his collection. But we here at the Garage Mahal, we're ready. We're, our juices are flowing. We want that next car. And you know what that next car is. It's setting out in our shed. <laughs> it is big fins, big car, one of a kind, not very many produced, and we snagged this car. It's going to have a great story, isn't it, Joe? Mm -hmm. uh, but like this car, we're teaming up with Borowski, and it's going to be big power. We're talking huge power, but it also is going to have huge fins. And it's going to have a story that we're working on with the Historical Society out in California to chase down the original owner of this car, which may really make it helter-skelter, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, we're looking for the guy who wants to team up with Joe and I and my team here at the Garage Mahal, bring this car to fruition so you could have one of these and you could wear the jacket. Right, Joe? Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, I guess in terms of uh, moving forward, we have the vehicle, we have the timeline, and uh, you know, it could be in the 2024 Riddler Award. Uh, in looking at what the economics are behind it, uh, what do you think, Glenn, about five to 7,000 man hours? Yeah, uh, depending on what the customer really wants. Maybe they want to do something really crazy, but uh, five to 7,000 man hours, typically what it takes to get these kind of cars. Um, and, uh, it's, and it's something that we could try to pull off for 2024. Uh, that's 14 months away, and, and we've got the manpower, and I've got a dedicated building where we can keep it away from cameras and the public as you know these cars cannot be seen during the build at any time not the engine not the body not anything so we've got a dedicated building we can put this in where our crew can work on it and based on what the customer wants we can do it right so yeah so five to seven thousand man hours of labor and plus all the miscellaneous parts so it's not an uh, inexpensive undertaking but uh when you're done that could be yours well it, you know it could be number one but uh grade eight is uh, uh by itself a huge honor and uh, uh then you have a vehicle that you, your buddy down the block will not have nobody will have you will have a one-of-a-kind piece that uh, will be an awesome uh, vehicle from both the mechanical creative uh, it'll be a beauty that uh, you and your family can hopefully cherish and enjoy for a long time so if you're interested Glenn what's your phone number 865 856-6850 gets you to my hip pocket where I carry my cell phone. We'll take these calls personally. Um, it's a great opportunity to do something that only your friends wish they could. Outstanding. All right. Well, thank you, Glenn. And uh, thank you, I'm Joe. sure yeah, we're all looking forward to uh, getting 2024. rolling. 2024. Big power, big fins.